you know when I got up this morning they didn't even say it was gonna rain they they didn't say there was even a chance and it's raining all right so it has been a long day and as you can see I have moved the truck now it is still not idling um, I had to two pedal it and I probably spun the tires a little bit in that mud trying to get it over here but I got it moved um, I gotta tell you this thing was it, way worse than what I even thought and I'm not ungrateful to my buddy that hooked me up I'm actually grateful to him but it's just my luck things can't ever go easy for me so let's get started first of all the hood used to be supported by one of my golf clubs not that I golf but I keep them around for hood supports uh, driver's side was bent passenger side was missing I went through the whole junkyard found the best hood that really felt like it was being held up firm and took them to put on this truck that doesn't idle we'll get to that after that um, I found a truck that had a pretty decent dash and I ripped out of everything from the headlight controls to the lower and upper panels all changed out and around the radio all changed out um, they're not perfect there's a couple of small cracks that you can't see, but it is much better, I think you will all agree, than what was there earlier. I even found a steering wheel cover, check this out guys, in the junkyard. Mint condition. I mean, that's got to be genuine leather. Anyways, the guys at the junkyard gave it to me for free. Now, driver side power window motor. It's not doing anything. Passenger side was not doing anything either. And the window was pretty much stuck in a three-quarter position, as we call it. So, I got to get some of the sticky off. Brand new weather stripping installed. Well, junkyard weather stripping installed. But much better than the stuff that was on there that was all cut up. Now, the reason why the passenger side power window motor did not work was when I pulled out what we could call the regulator there was no power window motor just some parts in the bottom of the door and no no motor so with that being said at the junkyard today I found a truck with a good regulator and if we look down in there a motor power window motor very important if you want your windows to work let's come over here now let's see it this way it's going down it's going up guys I kid you not if I had somebody drop off this truck and they were like you know we want all this work done th this wouldn't be no three or four hundred dollar bill um, I get small jobs that pay really good. As much time as I spent on this, th this would be six, seven hundred dollars. And then by the time I get done with the other door and the interior, we'd be easily hitting a thousand. Now, again, on my time slash my dime, um, don't have any work. Well, just keep getting it going. But so that's where we're at. We've got a power window motor that works. We got a dashboard that looks way better. We got an interior that I've got to finish gutting. Excuse me, Alex. Um, that door panel over there is completely shot. I've got to find another one at the junkyard. And the seats, center console, and everything will be removed this weekend when the temperatures warm back up. So, does this... Oh, look. The switch over here works. Good Lord, check that out. So, who knows? We might open up this door and find out the same. The whole motor could be missing. Or we might open it up and just find it's out. You know, find out it's got a bad motor. I was trying to look in here. Someone's been in there before because the speakers are completely missing. All right. So, already progress from compared to the first video. There will be more progress. And what I want to do with this truck... And some of you guys might trash me a little bit. But I want to try to build this as much as I can from the salvage yard. Uh, that power window motor is $100 advanced. I paid $15 for the whole regular and everything. I know it's not necessarily the right thing. But I don't want to put a ton of money in this thing. I have not driven it. I have got no clue how the transmission is going to shift or anything. 
So, oh, there's my glass of tea. All right, guys, Project F-150 is here. Get ready for some more videos. Alex is over there. He'll be in here participating. Right, Alex? That's right. Let's get in and out of this rain. Talk to you guys later.